Good morning everyone, welcome to a new market update and today we're going to discuss why there's literally a very big alt season going to happen or at least altcoins will finally start pacing up with Bitcoin. But before we're going to continue, do not forget to subscribe beneath and also like this video or comment if you do uh, want to see some special content on this YouTube channel. And yesterday we've done our first live stream in which 1700 people were watching during the uh, live stream well watching to what i was saying during monologues but um yeah it was fun to do and from here onwards on every thursday and monday at 19:30 central european time i'm going to live stream on uh, whatever is happening in the crypto markets but also to answer your question at some point in time probably in a few months from now we're also going to include other markets as that's uh, there's more than crypto there's slightly more than crypto but there's more to take care of um, if we want to see the mechanics that happen into the crypto markets and discussing what's happening in the crypto markets we're currently seeing the next phase of uh, what the money cycle is doing inside the cryptocurrency market so I've got a very nice screenshot here of uh, Secrets of Crypto who is literally an OG in the markets and he's made what I've also been saying yesterday or previous weeks onto uh, my YouTube channel. It's fine to just use this as a narrative in which um, I'm not agreeing to everything, but there's some very interesting prospects or at least points that you should be taking care of. So first one is that first phase is that Bitcoin is moving up, uh, which we have been seeing from September to uh, a month ago in which um, Bitcoin literally ran from 10k to 60k, right? Since then, Bitcoin is struggling a little bit and we know that right now Bitcoin is moving around 56k um, and just consolidating, which is granting the strength to flip towards the um, other parts of the cryptocurrency markets, which are Ether, um, not Ethereum, not Ethereum, not um, Ethereum, Ethereum, no, it's just Ether with double E. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, but now we see that Ethereum is starting to outperform Bitcoin heavily, um, which is very strong in general. Also, Ether 2.0 uh, just came out, or at least the uh, pre-alpha test phase uh, just came out, which is suiting the fact that Ethereum is probably the first layer for um, the next web 3.0. Um, I'm still expecting that to happen. That's why I'm even more bullish on Ether than on Bitcoin. Uh, but regardless, Ethereum is doing very strong right now. It's currently around $3,400. We're going to discuss it in a later stage as well. So when Ether made this move, it's outperforming Bitcoin heavily. So usually what follows next is that money is going into large caps where those will start to follow suit of Ethereum. And that's where... The old coins like Litecoin, EOS, Ripple, uh, Stellar, Tron, NEO, uh, all those Chinese coins or Asian coins uh, start to follow suit, but also Polkadot, Atom, Cardano. Uh, those all start to start following suit with Ether because that's what's happening after the first move of Ethereum made uh, progress so the money will just follow through the profits are made in ether and then the next follow coins will follow suit as everything is making that 100 day flip or 100 day and 200 day ma flip and from there they start to jump further when that's happening you usually see them going in groups so for instance xrp xlm and eels and doge but doge is a little bit an outlier here they usually go into a group together also neo ontology quantum they usually go into a group together when they move. So should you be looking at coins that are moving heavily right now? As the most common question is, what uh, should I buy Ether right now? Well, we're going to discuss it in a little bit, but Ether is a little bit far away from the entry point right now. And I think you should have bought it already the moment that everybody was screaming for, the, for, their, uh, for help from their mother. Um, so right now the hype is building up on Ether and you know that that's usually not the entry point. But there are so many other altcoins that you should be looking at that give you the entry point. And I've been discussing them on this YouTube channel. So when the large caps have seen their move, what follows next is that you just go down the list. Probably mid caps will start following suit already. But mid caps and small caps start to jump around. 
um, and they start to outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum heavily. And once they have, once that's happening, um, you probably also see that Bitcoin is starting to grind up. Because why? Well, the fact is that once people are making profits in their altcoins, and once altcoins are starting to outperform, you want to lock your profits into Bitcoin. So. When everything is jumping around, the money that is being made in altcoins wants to be locked in Bitcoin. This is creating an additional demand for Bitcoin to hold that. So it's pushing the price of Bitcoin up and up and up. So at some stage, when Bitcoin reaches new resistances or looks like it's going to go vertical or break out heavily again, that's usually the moment that the alt season is over as the momentum starts to get to phase one again which is where Bitcoin is going to make the next price surge. So when alt season is happening or when everybody is shouting that it's actually happening, that's probably the case where Bitcoin is close to making a new run again. So then finally, what should you do? Where should you look at? You should be looking at the Bitcoin pair. There's literally no point in watching the US dollar pair if literally every altcoin is going to be in price discovery at the stage through which that narrative or that variable is not very hard to use as a uh, tool to analyze your chart so secondly you should be looking at the bitcoin pair because it tells you whether it outperforms bitcoin if at some stage your altcoin is value remains stable in the us dollar pair but bitcoin against usdt goes 2x you lose 50% of your Bitcoin value, and that's what you want to avoid. So you want to do those two, you want to analyze those two, because by doing that, and especially the Bitcoin pair, you know when you should be entering an altcoin, and you, should, and you know when you should be getting out of it. Regarding Ethereum, what's next on Ethereum? Well, Ethereum is making a very, very large move, and um, I've discussed this yesterday in the previous video, it's not really granting an entry point right now and you can just go back in history to see where um, that it's after such a big move it usually retests the previous level before it wants to continue are we going to get a retest of the 2500 level probably we're not going to get that but a retest at 2760 is not a very unhealthy to have or at least 3k this is a new level that just came up so anything in this region for a retest would be very healthy to do so and there's also a question right now that ethereum made this run so what point should you have if you want to enter ethereum at this level when there are still many altcoins not making this move at all so the opportunity cost is significant. So at this stage, what's most likely going to happen with Ether? Well, we could have a drop of 20%, but we could also have a run of another 10%, which is the downwards risk is about 20%, and that's significantly higher in chances than that we're going up again. So if the case is that, for instance, Litecoin or any other altcoin is actually hovering around this area, the potential downside is about 10%, but the potential upside is about 60%. So if you are going to hold Ethereum for the coming weeks, there is a point or an argument to be made that you're better off by holding another specific altcoin as that one might be outperforming ETH in that stage. Yeah, you can look at ETH pairs at that, uh, that specific moment, but it's just simple math in which if one thing runs and you want to compound your profits, you want to lock your profits partially and move to another one through which you can increase your capital. So at this stage, Ethereum is not an entry point for me. It's a very nice signal. It shows where altcoins are going as most definitely everything is going to follow suit. I would not be surprised to see Ether at 5K uh, at least or like between 4 to 5K in the near future. Whether or not that's going to happen with the retest around these zones, who knows? Ether against Bitcoin, well, it's trying to break through this resistance zone. Uh, I was not assuming that we would get that as this entire region here is a pretty heavy resistance zone. It doesn't really change much, much to the fact of what I'm expecting or what I want to see on the chart in itself. The only thing that it changes is that this entire region becomes a support level right now. So at this stage, I'm also not going to assume that you should be entering it. Um, this is also a reason why I'm not really a big fan of trend lines as we just broke through this trend, right? I'm just using price levels as that's the best narrative that you can do or variable. 
um, at this stage you should not be granting yourself an entry point as in it just ran 2x in the Bitcoin pair right so I just made it 2x and where you want to get an entry point on Ether you want to look at any of these two levels here at this stage but I still assume that once we get such a consolidative period or at least slightly sideways after that we will have a bigger impulse wave towards any of these regions in which we are most likely going to see an Ether at like 6k to 8 to 10k within the next few months which is not unlikely to happen then I've discussed um, the importance of understanding the Bitcoin pair and on Saturday I'm going to make an educational video on here as well uh, but what you should be looking at is the fact that we're just in an accumulation range on many of those Bitcoin pairs so the argument that we are in a bull cycle is valid however we are not in a bull cycle yet for the Bitcoin pairs for instance XLM has been in a bear market since the previous all-time high in 2018 so if it breaks this entire resistance zone of the accumulation, if that's around 1100 sets, it starts its first bull cycle since. So most likely we're going to get a run towards any of these regions. But right now nobody is discussing Salem or any of those dino coins or any of those altcoins as they are assuming that they are not a great interesting investment opportunity. So um, as a conclusion of this pretty long video, um, I would argue to look at altcoins at this stage as most likely we're going to follow suit with Ethereum and I think you should be doing a, a pretty decent job if you're looking into them and you're seating yourself well in uh, altcoins. So tomorrow we are going to have a new market update. I'm not sure about what it's going to be but um, there's also going to be a new interview tomorrow with a very interesting project. So stay tuned, do not forget to subscribe beneath and also like this video if you like the content. I'll see you again tomorrow.